Hello YouTube, this is MU Games Master and today we're going to add Technoparrot ROMs to LaunchBox and also we're going to fix the frames per second um, issue in Daytona and Outrun 2. So without further ado, here we go. So first of all you need to find out what platform ROM you're adding. So for this case we're going to add Sega Classic Racing which is a Sega ring wide ROM and we need to go to tools, import and ROM files and we're going to click next and now we're going to navigate to our Techno Parrot folder so we're going to add, find the emulators folder down to Techno Parrot and we need to go into this user profiles folder and in here we'll have lots of XMLs that Techno Parrot creates when you add games so for this instance it is SRC Sega Racing Classic otherwise known as Daytona USA and we're going to click on the XML file and we're going to click open so that's our ROM added even though it's not the ROM then we're going to select the platform we require which is Sega Ringwide and we're going to scrape as arcade click next we're going to choose Techno Parrot as our emulator and then we're going to go to Edit and Associated Platforms. In here you will need to add what platform you're adding the ROM for which is Sega Ringwide as I've already done it and in the default command line parameters you need to add the following it's dash dash profile equals and then you need to tick default emulator so once that's done, we can click OK or cancel because I've already done it. And then we're going to click next. We're going to use the files in their current location. We're going to click next. And next again. Uh, if you have an MU Movies account, just make sure everything's ticked and click next again. Now, to add these systems these platforms into the arcade section we need to click on force using main metadata and click next again I've already ticked everything that I don't want um, but we're going to create a playlist below so next and then this will take a few moments so we've got our game here the name is wrong but we'll come to that in a moment this is where the XML file is placed in the Techno Parrot emulator folder and the extension. So finish. And now this will import Sega Racing Classic into LaunchBox. Now, as you can see, I've got no artwork, and we also need to do another final touch before the game loads. So we're going to right click the game, click on Edit. And the first thing we need to do is change the title. Uh, Sega Racing ooh, Typo Racing Classic. And then we're going to search for metadata. And there we go. It's classed as arcade. Click on that. And then we're going to click download images and media. And download. It's only take a few seconds. There we go. Now the second thing we need to do is click on the emulation tab, tick use custom command line parameters, and in here we need to add the dash dash profile equals and the name of the XML file that we added as the ROM. So in this instance we can go to Techno Parrot folder and in user profiles you'll see the XML that is created and it's called SRC which is Sega Racing Classic so dash dash profile equals SRC.XML and then we're going to click on OK and that will now fire up the game when we double click on it but first of all limit the frames per second we're going to have to go to our NVIDIA 
if that's what you use, uh, control panel. And wait for that to fire up. And then we need to click on Manage 3D Settings. And then we need to click on the Program Settings tab. And we're going to add the EXE file for Sega Racing Classic. So let's wait for that to do what it's doing. And we're going to browse. I know this is in the C drive um, from the last tutorial that I've done for you to set it up. And we're going to click the D1A file as seen here. And we're going to click open. I've already done this, so I don't need to do it. Cancel. And then you just click OK. So we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to click on vertical sync. And we need this to on. And that will just use that for that program. Now, for Seager Outrun 2, you need to add the ELF loader, which is in D, Techno Parrot. I'll just maximize this so you can see it. So it's in the Techno Parrot emulator folder, Techno Parrot, and you want to click on Budgie Loader, and that's for Outrun and any Lingberg games that you require this for. So I've already done it already, so I'm just going to click cancel and then just click OK once that's done. And then again, we need to change this to vertical sync on. Scroll down and click apply. Because I haven't changed anything, I've got no apply button down the bottom, but you will have. So make sure you click apply and then we can come out and now we're going to fire up Daytona USA Okay, so our ROM is loading. I'm going to add some coins. per second is a lot better and this also works on outrun and all the other driving games if you are getting the issue where you're getting too many frames per second um, because they're not very resourceful these games and you can play them quite quite high spec or low spec PCs okay I hope this helped you out and any questions just fire them in the comments below and thank you very much for supporting the channel all the best